Hi, I'm Dr. Shankar Kumar, Senior Consultant, Practicing Diabetes, Internal Medicine and uh, Thyroid Diseases. Diabetes is a chronic uh, non-communicable disease. It is not curable, but it can be controlled very well. And if it can be controlled very well, the complications, vascular complications can be prevented. This is very, very important. The patient had to understand that diabetes is definitely not curable. And uh, many people, you know, many, many, many of the alternative system of medicines or some other uh, uh, quackery or some other uh, alternate people can give a lot of promises saying that they can cure uh, diabetes. So it is definitely not a fact. As of on today, with the research, what is available, diabetes is not curable. It can be very well controlled with proper medications and adopting healthy lifestyles. So by doing this, you can prevent the complications, the vascular complications, which, which happen because of high blood sugars. There is a lot of misconception about diet, in, about diet in diabetes patients. Many people think if they go for a diet counseling, especially in, in, uh, for diabetes, they think they are imposed a lot of things, are restricted of so many things. Okay, that is a wrong thing. Patients can still follow the same diet what they are eating, but if they adequate knowledge about the carbohydrates in their diet and also about the calories. Okay, what, what to eat is more important than what not to eat. Is it? What not to eat. Okay, so they need to plan their uh, calorie uh, value and the carbohydrate content in each meal, whether it is breakfast, lunch and dinner. And they can adopt some healthy cooking habits like steaming, cooking and uh, shallow frying instead of uh, deep frying uh, and uh, other refi refined, consuming refined foods. So these things need to be uh, taken care. And if there is any doubt, they can always consult their dietitians okay, for uh, uh, a complete uh, clear knowledge about the diet. Yeah, to brief about the diet, the patient can stick on to his regular uh, diet what he is taking. There is no need for uh, a South Indian to change his food habits from rice to chapati or for a North Indian okay, to switch over from his chapatis to rag. It's, it's, it's not necessary because all these uh, cereals, they almost have the same amount of carbohydrates, a little difference in carbohydrate content and in addition they may have little fiber and protein content, so it is not necessary. So what is important is to reduce the quantity of the uh, content of the carbohydrate. So you have to reduce the quantity of the carbohydrate what you are taking whether it is rice, ragi or wheat that is more important. And the cooking methods have always should be either steaming or cooking. You should avoid deep frying of these foods. And fruits, most of the patients okay, uh, they don't have a proper knowledge about fruits. You, need, you can take fruits preferably one fruit at a time a small portion in between snacks not, not, not as a snack not, not in, in between meals and not with the meal because the fruit also has got some calorie value. And what you have to take is those fruits which contain low calories like for example guava or papaya or uh, pomegranate, apple, green apple or uh, Indian apple which is not so sweet. So such fruits are allowed. One, one, one portion of the fruit is allowed preferably at 11 o'clock in the morning or maybe at bedtime. Fruits like chiku, pineapple, jackfruit should be avoided because they are very very high high in fructose content. They should be completely avoided. Coming to the vegetables. You can, you can take vegetables okay, or above the ground because they have got more of fiber content. Vegetables below the ground, the tubers are rich in starch and rich in carbohydrates should be avoided like potato, tapioca, yam, all these fruits, all these vegetables should be avoided. Whereas the vegetables above the ground can be taken in plenty and every meal should have at least 200 grams of vegetables in their diet.